So you know when you get up to a house and the front door looks like this and you're seeing hardy board construction, that you're seeing a house that was built right and done right. Let me show you inside. So as I take you a walk through this house, I'm gonna to try to point out some of the upgrades to it, but I also want you to stand back and just admire how well this house is designed and how spacious it is, how bright it is, and so many other things. But starting off right at the front entrance, you'll see that it's got some nice wide plank flooring, hardwood, or engineered hardwood flooring. There's a room in the front here, they're using it for a, a music room, but it would be the perfect home office. So as I take you around this home, like I said earlier, there's a lot of upgrades I wanna show you. One of them is, it's actually a custom design home. It's built by Stepper Homes, a really reputable builder that's been around the Calgary area for a long time. But there's little things even like, the designer widened the hallways in here, which gives the whole home such a nice, airy, spacious feel. And to my left here, you gotta see this kitchen. Do you have someone in your family that likes to bake or to cook? Check out this kitchen. Is this enough counter space for you? And by the way, the counters are quartz and there's a lot of high-end improvements in this, in this area as well. There's a built-in microwave, there's a gas range, there's a three-door KitchenAid fridge, there's a upgraded hood fan, there's a Bosch dishwasher. This is a great spot if you like to cook or bake or hang out with your family as you do that. So do you have a big family or lots and lots of friends? You can all eat together in this house. This dining room's big enough for 20 people and you've got another four or five bar stools over there. And you know, at the end of the day, when you're done work and you can finally sit down by the fireplace and read a book, how beautiful is this living room? There's glass on two sides, so it's always nice and bright, lots of daylight in here. By the way, those are Hunter Douglas blinds behind me too. Beautiful stone fireplace, just a great place to relax with your, with your book or with your family. So let me show you upstairs, and on the way, notice even the upgrades here, they added a window to the stairway, which adds some more light into this area that can sometimes be a little darker, and a gorgeous upgrade to the light fixture here as well. So upstairs you're gonna find three bedrooms. They're big because this plan actually allowed for an option of four bedrooms and they opted for three to give everybody a little bit more space. So big bedroom on either side of me, this one's huge actually, and they both have huge windows as well. So in terms of bathrooms in this place, there's four. There's a two piece on the main, there's a great big bathroom here for the kids, and there's a beautiful ensuite that we'll get to in a minute. In the basement, there's actually a two piece now, but it could easily be made into a three piece. We'll get to that a bit later. In terms of this bathroom here, it's really what you want when you've got a family. It's got two sinks, quartz countertops, tile floor. The uh, bathtub and shower is one piece, so no grout to clean that way. It's well lit, great little spot for your kids to get ready for school. The family room is right here in the middle of the upstairs. So there's a bit of separation between the primary bedroom and where the kids are. There's two windows up here and there's lots of room for you to hang out with your family and watch a movie. By the way, I always tell people you want to buy the right house, but you also want to buy it from the right people. And the guy that owns this house with his wife is an engineer. And I always tell people, if you can buy a house from an engineer, you're going to do well because they are trained to make sure that everything is done right. And how do you know a house is built or is owned by an engineer? There's not pictures of people, but there's pictures of buildings and bridges. By the way, I got a special prize for anyone that can tell me which building the owner of this place worked on in this picture. This primary bedroom is huge. huge. Lots of room, you could have a king size bed in here and a couple of night tables and a dresser and everything else. There's windows on two sides here. So you're always gonna get some sunlight in here as well. And again, Hunter Douglas blinds throughout the home. And did I tell you about this ensuite bath? Not only is it a generous size with, again, windows on two sides for lots of sunlight, but it's got some really great features. It's got a door on the water closet. It's got a shower big enough for two people. <laughs> and it's got a standalone tub. It's got two sinks in a, with a quartz countertop in the vanity and a massive walk-in closet. So they started developing the basement. They're not quite done before they move, but you can see here that they put some flooring down, it's insulated and everything else. They're using it as a bit of a gym right now. In the furnace room, you're gonna find a great big Lennox high efficiency furnace, a heat recovery ventilator, a brand new or a newer uh, high efficiency hot water tank that's massive as well. I also noticed there's a little bit of room left on that panel too to do more rentals if you wanted to. So there's a bathroom started over there again. They got two pieces already installed. The hard work's been done. If you want out a shower or whatever you can as well and then you want to finish it. The rest of the basement, as you can see, it's massive. 
And there's lots of room here to do whatever you like. There's some great big windows down here which make it easy to add a, a bedroom or two. And there's lots of room here to, too to set up a theater or a um, games room or whatever. If you go to my website, you'll actually see what I had a designer come up with in terms of some ideas for the area. So the garage is big. It's got an extra spot over here as well. Room for like a little workshop area or fridge and freezer like they're using it. The other thing you notice about the garage is it's drywalled and insulated. The garage doors are insulated as well. So it's really nicely done. And it's two single garage doors too. So if one's faulty, you still got the other one. Coming out of the garage, you walk right into this mudroom and laundry area, which is fantastic. They got little locker areas set up here. There's three on this side and two on that side. Room for storage up here for hats and mittens. They got Maytag appliances over here, washer and dryer, front loaders, with a shelf over top, room enough for your detergents and that kind of thing. Over here, they've got their appliance closet, which is great. And then there's a door right here from the kitchen or from this area, right onto the deck, which is really nice and private. It's not, it's not viewable from the backyard uh, neighbors. Another thing you like about this deck is not only is it really nicely finished and very private from the neighbors, but there's also a, um, an outlet here and there's a gas hookup for your barbecue as well. There's a door here into the uh, garage and mudroom and double doors there into the kitchen so that when you're barbecuing, you can go in and out. The backyard's a really nice space to spend with your family and friends. There's room enough back here like you'll see for a trampoline. And the owner put a little boardwalk there too to protect the grass from being trampled as the kids move from the backyard onto that great pathway system that takes you right to the school and all over Chestnut, really. 